Yo, what's going on, Comfy Gang? It's your boy, Comfy Neat, and today I'm gonna be talking about something, um, I guess a little bit more on the serious side. Um, I guess I've been asked a little bit about my backstory, so this is probably gonna be part of that. But um, I think what I'm gonna be talking about may or may not explain a lot of my behaviors, a lot of my issues, and a lot of my problems. And I guess it's also my way of, I don't know, maybe venting or like, I don't know, getting through what happened to be in the past by just like talking about it because I don't think I've really gone into detail about this to like anybody except for maybe like a therapist at one time, but that was like a long time ago. And I don't know if I ever fully moved on from it. So I'm just not gonna really pay attention to like the video length, apart from maybe like a few cuts here and there, if there's any like dead time dead silence but um i'm gonna be talking about um what my i guess quote unquote main bully did to me and um yeah because i feel like this is probably one of the major things that um like messed me up i'd say um and i'll probably be going to that like next video like how it affected me and the changes it had on my personality and how it maybe contributes to me being the way I am. But today I'm just going to be talking about um, what specifically was done to me. So yeah, I'm rambling. Um, let's get right to the chase. So cut right to the chase. So um, yeah, um, so basically it's kind of um, difficult, I guess, what my main bully like did to me doesn't really make sense without like understanding like sort of the dynamic that we had as well as like the way I was in the past. So um, I guess growing up, um, my social skills were always um, relatively impaired compared to like a normal kid. And um, I feel like although I kind of eventually picked up on a lot of these sort of like things and like, I guess, social knowledge that most people have i'd say i picked up on it maybe like two or three years later than everybody else and part of um one thing i didn't really wrap my head around what or wrap my head around was what it meant to be like a friend um i guess prior and like before like i came to that realization i just always assumed that friends were people that you hung out with and um, I guess it's like the people that you spent the most time with, which is kind of true in a sense in the most like shallow definition of the word. But um, as I learned the hard way, this is not always the case because my main bully also kind of doubled as my quote unquote friend, arguably a best friend, which is kind of sick and twisted because I would basically spend most of my time around this person, but it's not because um, I, it's not because I necessarily wanted to or knew any better, but it's because I just kind of assumed that we were friends because I didn't have any social skills. I didn't have the ability to, I guess, make new friends, um, talk to new people. I sort of lost that as my social anxiety worsened and my, I guess autistic behaviors became more and more um, pronounced um, during like adolescence. And a lot of this really happened, um, I'd say between like high school, like, like late middle school, early high school, like up to like 10th grade, late 10th grade, I'd say. And, um, but yeah, um, keep in mind that what this person did to me happened over several months and it was repeated. So um, if you're wondering why I didn't just leave the situation, which is easily what I could have done, it's because I thought of this person as my friend and I also maybe was partly like desperate for companionship at the time because I was mostly lonely and this person kind of gave me that sort of like easy way out, just like someone to like be around. but would just constantly treat me like shit. And um, yeah, um, so as far as what this person did to me, I'd say it was mostly a lot of like 
social things and like as well as like verbal abuse and um it just started with the fact that like this guy would um would always call me a you know what i'm just gonna say the word um even if it means me being shadow banned i'm just gonna say it once and try not to say too much like he just called me like a fag faggot um and uh it's like he would constantly like um call me kind of almost as like a greeting almost like i guess he like normalized it like he said so much that eventually i'd i'd assume that that's what um is just his thing but he would never really say this to anyone else it was really only me he would call me like like yo fag like yo and like honestly like that word like triggers me to this day and um um yeah if i fucking get emotional or like start tearing up i don't know i probably can't do justice to what was done to me i can't really because i feel like i've blocked out a lot of it in my mind because it's been like years and i feel like maybe part of me has moved on but thinking about it now i am getting a little bit emotional but i'll try to keep it together um yeah I'd be like hey fag you fag like 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 and then he would just like say all these things like like um for example like like dude why are you such a fucking faggot like like fuck you fag like like or like i guess like bitch too but it's really mostly fag for some reason and um um yeah just like call me a faggot and um he'd always like give me shit for like every little thing that i did and you know i guess part of it was maybe not entirely uncalled for because i was definitely on the awkward side as far as um you know my movements my behaviors my mannerisms and stuff but he would just constantly give me shit for everything like calling me like a fag for this fag for that um and um would just call me a fag instead of my actual name and um yeah, i mean that doesn't sound too bad i guess but when you're being called this over and over again by someone who i guess you think is your friend and even i started to call him shit back eventually but it's like it's just gets really exhausting over time and um it's like it's not just what he was saying but the way he was saying it also like as if i were like below him like beneath him which is i guess kind of true socially but um yeah he would do this a lot and then um yeah he would also always try and take advantage of me because i guess even back then i was sort of like a people pleaser but it's more really because i didn't know how to relate to people other than you know saying yes because i thought if i said yes to people agreed to things then you know maybe they would like me more if i did them a favor but at the time i was too dumb to see that um sometimes people will take advantage of this kindness or this i guess you know lack of like willingness to stand up for yourself and um this person would let's just call him tom tom would fucking or john i don't know some fucking generic name but this person would um basically yeah like do everything like try and like milk this like um as much as possible and uh, i was like um for like uh for example he he would ask me to uh do homework and because i didn't know any better i would especially at the beginning of our relationship i would you know just agree because i thought it was like something that would like deepen our friendship and maybe this person would like me more and um yeah and then, and then if i if i said no he would go like um just like oh come on please do i just really i really need like it's it's so like it's like every like i guess like bully that you see in like a movie about like high schoolers like just like, come on please you like i just really need this come on come on i'll i'll help you next time like i'll i'll do this for you i'll do that for you um uh, oh yeah please come on dude You're like yeah yeah okay yeah no 
like, come on, just, just do it, dude. Come on, come on. Like, and then obviously me not having any conviction at the time, I would like buckle. I would eventually buckle and say, cause I'd feel bad. Like this person was at the day, at the end of the day, like, you know, dumber than me, like definitely not as intellectually capable as me especially as far as like English goes and like stuff like that. So I would just agree because I thought this person was my friend and needed help because, well, you know, he, if I didn't help him, then he would probably fail or not do as well, like get like a C, a D even. So I kind of felt bad. So I agreed. And also he even used this like, Oh, like, dude, come on. Like, my grades are really bad, blah, blah, blah. So I would just like, whatever excuse, and eventually I would buckle in no time. And I would just do this person's stuff. And um, at the same time, he would still call me a faggot, a bitch. Um, I don't know, whatever was common back then. Like, like um, and then, um, yeah. And another thing that, and then he would also, um, is like, we had this like, sort of like, um, cafe not really a cafe but it's like another alternative food option and like the library like the high school portion of the library there was like led up to like a terrace thing or whatever and there was like a thing there where you could buy like better i guess slightly better food than the cafeteria so we would always go there like he would always ask me to come out and eat lunch hang out with him there but then he would always um ask me to um what's it called it's like he asked me once to buy him like to spot him or just like buy him like i don't know at the time it was like uh it was either like a <laughs> chicken and cheese a quesadilla i'm just laughing because like it's funny remembering this stuff or um something it was kind of like a, a lean like quote unquote lean beef on rice which is really just like a japanese like yudon if you've ever heard of that, it's kind of like thinly sliced beef with like a, in like a sweet savory, like soy, um, sauce and like with, and like onions, I guess. And over rice. And he would ask me to like buy the stuff. And I was like, yeah, sure. I like, okay. Cause he said he forgot his, um, his like, he didn't bring money or he, he forgot his, um, I guess. Cause our school had these like card things that you could swipe. It was like, our, it was like integrated into like our ID cards, like our, our school ID card, just like a little like barcode thing, like paper and then like a little barcode that you could like scan. So it was like, yeah, I, I bought him this thing. And then eventually he kept asking me and then he would use the, the exact same, like, come on, dude, please, please. And eventually it just got to the point where I would, I would just by default, always buy this guy food. And, um, um, yeah, I didn't know any better. Like, I don't know why. Like, I probably spent, like, up, like, adding up in total maybe, like, a thousand, a thousand dollars over the course of that time when I was, when I was still willing to buy him stuff. Eventually, I stopped, but, yeah, um, yeah, uh, so, yeah, he would, I would, like, buy him food and stuff, and then he would eat, and then, Keep in mind that he would still talk so much shit to me. Um, he would ask me why I was such a loser, why I, um, you know, if I was, you know, like, if I was like, like, why I was, why I was so gay, like, why I was such a fag and all that stuff. And, um, or like, why I was so stupid even, like, even though I was smarter than him and just all these things that would like, over time, slowly, slowly chip away at me and, you know, he don't doesn't sound like it's that bad because you know he didn't well he did kind of i'll get to that later but like it's not like he fucking like beat the shit out of me you know bang my head against a locker or something like that but it's like a little like verbal abuse that slowly slowly chips away at you and it's just like the repetition that eventually because this happened every day pretty much over the course of like months, over the span of pretty much like two years, two and a half years where it like chips away at you. And um, 
yeah, it really started bothering me because this guy, I considered him my friend. So I just didn't understand like why he was doing this to me. And also um, it just made me feel bad because um, it kind of made me question whether friendship was actually worth it because I would basically always have to like deal with this. And I felt obligated to because this person was my quote unquote friend in my mind. I obviously was a dumbass at the time, ignorant. Um, and yeah, so there's that. And um, it's like he would always um, do these things. Another thing was that um, he would basically, um, let me just check the battery real quickly.